and welcome back to another episode of Beautiful Planet Zoo and we are planning to add in some new Briard tapirs to our tapir exhibit where we have none left. I didn't realise they all kind of disappeared on us which is super sad. We have a few babies so basically this evergreen zoo here is um, a zoo that I pay on my own but it's like in the middle of maintenance and it's completely bonkers and I've just kind of bought lots of animals I see kind of for this zoo anyway so I wouldn't mind kind of borrowing some of the animals off this zoo off, off of that zoo because we do share the, like, the conservation credits and everything so it's kind of fair enough and I'm not even that far on that zoo anyway we have kind of the same animals so I mean Leaf is a Briar Tapia that we have from Pixel Plant Zoo she's one of our first babies that we ever had and also Splodge Splodge looks like he's our main male actually would he go well with Leaf? Offspring! Okay, Splodge and Leaf. There we go. That was easy. So, Leaf and Splodge. You two are coming in here. Because this was your habitat from the start, my friends. And they need more hard shelter, the flamingos. So, let's give them some. Because that's super important. I can't believe they've never had proper hard shelter. So, let's find species. They're called the Greater Flamingo, so there they are. They're super noisy as well, I can hear them hear them complaining in the background. Um, beds and shelters. Mm -mm. Let's see, can I get a nice shelter, like a small... Okay, let's get a nice wooden one. A big, a big wooden one, apparently. Which we can just, like, yeah, mash into the ground. Stick a tree on the side of it to make it look like it's meant to be there. Maybe some rocks to blend it in with the backdrop and a couple of... I know they don't actually like plants, the, the greater flamingos, but this is like great for them. I'm sure they'll appreciate this. Just having the... Um... Oops, I picked the wrong thing. Oh no, there's a serious injury discovered. Let's just pause for a second then. Um, extra big bedding leaves for them. That's going to be so much better for them. And this side is going to be for the tapirs. And that side is going to be for the flamingos. So let's put... Uh, I'm actually going to sell this. We don't need this. Where's the Where's the injury? Autumn is injured. Yes, we know. Did we not... Let's see. Autumn, are you putting here? Species. Uh, Bengal. He's a Bengal tiger. Let's see, Autumn. He's in quarantine. Is that not what we wanted him to go? Which quarantine is he in? I don't see him. Doesn't quarantine fix them? I thought the quarantine made them better, but maybe not. Oh, I think it's gone now. There we go. I think it's all good. Um, I'm glad, so glad it stopped raining. Oh my goodness. And I think they're much happier with their, well, at least their one basic wooden shelter. We can put another one here. Kind of squish them in the environment a bit. Make it look like it was meant to be. All along. Again, with the nice tree. There we go. And do they have two of these? They should probably need two of these things, I think. Because there's a lot of flamingo, like a lot. So let's put another one of these dudes here. Oh, <gasps> here's our tapia! Oh my goodness, look how cool this dude is. He's swimming with the flamingos. I'm pretty sure this habitat is meant for him. So he should be pretty happy in here. Like the hard shelter, the long grass, they want a tiny bit more short grass over long grass. But I think that's probably where we've just put down this. What's the touch? So we've kind of put down some of the new things. Yeah, there, okay, that was easy. And hard shelter, they have none. So let's look at the Briotapia hard shelter as well. So species, Briotapia. Hard shelter wise, they want the kind of the same as the flamingo. Big old wooden, wooden shelters, like so. Um, oh, this is a big one. Where can I put this? Huh. Yeah, there's not much space, actually. 
Okay, I'm gonna put one up there. Did that improve things at all? No. But maybe that's because they can't get up there. Oh, there's like a thing where I can see where they can go, right? Yeah, look, they can't even get up there. Oh my goodness. My terraforming is literally awful. Come on, dudes. You need to be able to kind of move around and actually be able to get up here. Because otherwise, what's the point? What is the point in having this beautiful place for you when you can't budge up there? Okay, let's see. Let's lay this kind of flat in here. And move this here. Tell me you can now... Oh my goodness. What happens if I just delete this? Everything kind of looks bare. But do I prefer it? Kind of. I mean, it's just a bit silly. It looks so good, but I'm not sure if it's very beneficial for the animals to have all this stuff here. Like, it takes up a lot of their space. Okay, maybe we can just pick a few things out. Like that. That looks better already. And I'm gonna terraform this kind of flat for them. So we can... No, I didn't mean to move this. I meant to move this. There. And now, hopefully, they will be able to wander into this beautiful place for them with their, let me see, bedding, extra large leaf bedding for them. Totally deserve that. It is floating around a tiny bit. Okay, let's just like put this up a bit. Let's move this, put it up a bit. Gently, gently. I want them to be able to actually come up here. Just gently, please smooth it out so they can actually get up here that looks better they don't like the long grass though we'll have to change that but i think that's so much better they tell me you can actually move around now the hard shelter is up to 50. so it's looking better for them if i put another one there that bumps it up to 64 Wow, they need a lot of hard shelter. Okay. One down there. Gonna get rid of a lot of this stuff. We can scooch this. Oops. We can scooch this back a bit. Okay. How are we doing? Any better. That is pretty good for them. They seem much happier now. I just duplicated everything again. Okay, maybe we can put it in one more place. Let's see. Here. Um, okay, hang on. Delete that first. And delete this. Then we can duplicate this. Pop it there. Okay. And then I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to flatten this out a bit. We have more space. Smooth it out. And then... What's this doing? That's fine. That can stay down here. But then I want, like, another feeder for them. Okay, we go. There! I feel like that's much better. That is so much better for them. I feel so much better. Now they actually have... We can get to the... I didn't even realise they couldn't get to half of the things that we were trying to give them. That's so bad. Okay. There. That's better, huh? And I'm going to take this away. Smooth this out a bit. So everybody's kind of happy here. Push this down. Smooth it out. Oh goodness, it looks so much better. So much better. I can't see what I'm doing. Push this down a bit. Isn't that better? I think everybody's agreeing that that looks so much better. Okay. 
How about now, buddy? 78. Wait, that was worse than before. <laughs> I think it's because the flamingos are taking up a lot of the space as well. Uh, possibly. Can the, do the flamingos go in, in... There's also like an underneath bit here as well. I don't know. I'm confused. But they want short grass instead of long grass. Let's just intense that up. So that because we've changed a lot of the area, so it's all gonna be annoyed. And then soil, they want blue roofs. Ta-da! See, all better. Fixed it. They're happy for now. And the flamingo, if I can click on one, they're running very fast. Oh, the navigatable swimming area is low. But apart from that, they are happy little geese. They're happy. Happy little buddies. Chilling. Okay, so that's out a bit. We're going to push this out a tiny bit. The navigatable area is going to be a bit more for them to swim in. There. Put this away and push it out a bit. There we go. Is that better for you? Yes. Much better. Okay, everybody's happy now. Everybody's happy. The flamingo, we're just adding a bit of rock for the flamingos. There we go. Check on the tapirs. Let me find the tapir. There's a tapir here. Boom. Okay, we fixed it. Everybody's good. I'll need to mark the tapirs actually as proper. As the mean two. Leaf and splodge is already yield. Splodge is already start. Okay. Woo, we fix everything. Everything's all good. We still have tapers and we still have flamingos. So these education boards are still correct for now. Let's check that everything is going all right in our time. Oh goodness. Did I? Oh my gosh. Okay, there's been so much. So much death and so much. Okay. This dude can be released. We have a flamingo here which can be released. Um, this flamingo is a boy and he's a gold, so we're gonna mark him as a keeper. Greater flamingo to mark here. Chicken, whoops, I didn't add. Nope, I didn't mean to do that. Um, let's see, that's him. This lovely lady can go. Farah, you can go as well, my dear. Have a great life in the wild. I'm sure you'll do amazing at repopulating the beautiful flamingo population the great flamingo I mean, although it probably doesn't need any help with repopulating at this very i mean we have so many just in our tiny little habitat off you go my friend um the nyala chiku um actually she uh matured which is nice we're kind of getting those they're, they're kind of new to the to the place so it's good that they're rec they're recovering the population wow we have a giant tortoise who's matured chinese pangolin who has matured and is now having offspring so we obviously didn't do very well there um that's really bad this bongo that's matured can go in the okapi matured she can go in look we've done so badly there's fighting oh my goodness we haven't been paying any attention to anything this is what happens when you have a giant wait can she stay in i'm pretty sure she can stay in and just be on contraceptive I put her away now though, which is a problem. Okay, I can't get her back out. Huckleberry had offspring. Actually, we can if I just let her go and then take her out again. Algebra tortoise. He can go. He's in the temporary, temporary thing. Another Nyala, which is matured. A male, so he can go in the box. Oh, this is fighting. Niels, there's already fighting. You can be released. Um, that was Roberto. This dude can be also be released. They've grown into giant tortoises already. Okay, here we go. So that's that. That's everybody sorted out here, apart from this ninja, who's the ring-tailed lima. She needs to go back into the lima pen. And the lima pen, if I remember correctly, is over this way. Yes, yes, yes. How many lemas do we have in here? We have two of these. I can't take the food quality up. And two, three, and a little baby. Okay, we'll keep Ninja in the 
in the trade center for now. Okay, let's press play. Look at our little cart zooming around on its top of the of the view. Beautiful view of our zoo and our temporary tortoise pen, which is just the worst thing ever. We have only a few to move out though. We have eight little kidlets in here ready to go and grow up. So I'm glad that they're kind of hoofing it quickly and getting out the way and going to the world. I'm glad we've got everybody happy here. Okay, let's run back to the hippos. We want to get these hippos in ASAP. They're gonna look amazing once they go in. We just need enough to, okay. No, I don't wanna do that. I wanted to kind of get rid of some of this. And terrain wise, flatten some of this out a bit. Just so we can loop this back to the start, which is here. I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is, we can smooth this out. Let's do a giant, giant one. Smooth this all out. So this is going to be kind of like a little river area. Um, so let's see, I'm going to do this. And then from here, we can go this way. And then, come on, you can do it. Did you attach? Did she just attach? Did... Oh, wait, I think it attached. Is that, does that mean it's a full? Yes, okay, this is gonna be called the hippo, hippo hole. <laughs> That's a good name, I like that, the hippo hole. That's funny, okay. Um, let's just check, everything is all good, oh wait. Did she have her offspring? I'm waiting. Chippo has matured. Look, you can go to the wild, my dear. Okay. That's all good. We're gonna actually have to, oh my goodness. I don't have time to do this. We're gonna have to go to the next episode, you guys. This is crazy. Okay, we need to, one thing I know we need to do is join up all like the water areas. The, the sorry, the land areas so that the, the keepers can get to it because I know it's a big problem that keepers kind of struggle to get to the land areas. So we're gonna just have water in the middle. We can we can push this out and have like the look that the water is on both sides of here, um, as well as, and then we can have, let's flatten this bit. Oh dear. Hang on, this is not flattening to foundation, this is flattening to something different. Oh dear. Okay, that's foundation. Okay. So let's flatten this out. That'll do. That'll do. I mean, I, I'm gonna have to sort this out. We're gonna have to do this next episode. Like, look how bonkers this all looks now. It's gone a bit crazy, but I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye for now.